Hello everyone and welcome to Pod But Make It Fashion. My name is Dennis. And my name is Sander. And today we're talking about episode 6 of Cycle 3 of America's Next Top Model, The Girl Who Mutilated the Precious Brownies. Yeah, it's very yeah, intense. I've never ever read that word before. Mutilated. <laughs> well, they did. <laughs> so let's dive in. All right. Full episode. A lot happened. Yes. I have a feeling it's like yes. two episodes in one, but it was only one episode. Maybe it's because they did two photo shoots. That's true. Maybe that gave the feeling. But to be fair, there was a lot of drama because first we start with Tyra waking them all up. Um, and then they're going to talk a little bit about the industry and then about body image and then they get in someone whose name i forgot who's a plus size model and then they also get a person in who talks about nutrition and everything and all of a sudden it's cassie who's like i want to talk to you i wonder if it was only cassie who wanted to talk to them or maybe everyone else wanted to talk maybe too but they just showed it like cassie was the only one. Ooh, good thinking i think that could be the case Curious, and curious. Did it look a little bit, I'm not sure anymore, but did it look like that Tyra was surprised by Cassie's confession? She knows. Yeah, but She's she acted surprised. Or well, you, she should, because she, yeah. she needs to look like she doesn't know. Because back in the day, I think I would believe. There's like, oh, now Tyra's going to find yeah. out as well. And she's going to be so nice to her about it. <laughs> and like that, that's the storyline Tyra wants us to I proceed. Thought it, I thought it was so like weird the way... Like Cassie was like, yeah, I, I have a problem with eating, but I don't call it a de- eating disorder, but I want to do it my way. I don't know. I just, I was like, okay, yeah, it's it, an eating disorder is something really like h- horrible and uh, it's, it's something very complicated, but I'm also like, okay, you want to talk to them, but you don't want to say something and you want to, I don't know. It was very like. I want something, but if she didn't get what she wanted, she's like, no, I'm not doing it. True. And the fact by saying it like, hey, I have a problem, but I'm not going to confess that I have the problem. I'm going to deny it makes it even more of a problem. It's it like, was It was really, yeah. No, the, the thing is like, I don't even, it's, it's not like denying. It's just like, I'm going to say it and it needs to go my way or otherwise I'm not going to do anything. Yeah. yeah she was like, I, w- I will do it anyway. You cannot convince me otherwise because I know I'm not bulimic. I just do it sometimes. The fact that I don't do it all the time makes me not believe me i'm a little like Ooh. i'm not sure if that's true well I, i'm sure it's not true Let's i think she just want, maybe wanted to hear from them be like no girl what you're doing is fine like we she all needed, do it sometimes she, she yeah. needed like a confirmation or something because when she didn't get to hear like what she wanted to hear she was like okay well yeah but i'm still gonna do it my way and then buy and then she called her boyfriend like yeah they know about what yeah about the thing so like it's I don't know. It's, it's something that's in her life, I think, for a longer time than only during Top Model. Because, yes, her boyfriend knows. I wonder, I hope I hope she's fine now. I have no idea. I looked her up. I have no idea who Cassie is now, what she's doing. <laughs> but I hope Who's she's Cassie? fine. Yes. Hope she's fine too. Well, yeah. Hope she's healthy. Let's put it that Let's way. Let's put it that way. That's Let's the most important way. thing. But the funny thing is, but we'll get back to that later on, is like, it's very noticeable when things don't go her way. That she's like, okay, bye. Okay, bye. She, like, she needs a confirmation, but if it's not the confirmation she wants, she's like, okay, bye. But we'll get to that in a we'll second. We'll get to that. We'll get to that, yes. Because she's, first we have the big thing about this episode. Brownie gate. The mutilated brownies. Yes, there we get to that word oh, again. God, this... I, I don't know. I... I'm, I'm, okay, let's first. Sh- There's sh- so much, so much. Shall many I tell her what's, what's happening? I will tell, okay? I think okay? they know because okay. they saw the episode. Very quickly, you're yeah. Not listening. Well, we Come have, on, Sandra, yeah. be smart. <laughs> <laughs> we have, we have Anne and Eva, Are you but. Gonna explain now what's no, going to happen. Very short. <laughs> <laughs> so then See, I can give my opinion about so it. So you're kind of like Cassie, you only want to do it your way. I'm <laughs> yes. kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I'm one of the two hosts. <laughs> I can decide it. Well, we they have. They mutilated brownies. <laughs> yeah. And we they wrote in the brownies. Anne writes, clean your shit. Wrote writes writes. Well, yeah, we, I do. Wrote like, it, they did. They it. wrote it, but it's like it's, it's, it's like See, this it now. See, it needs to go my now. way. Other ways, <laughs> yes. not okay. And writes. Come on, clean, quicker. Clean your shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, clean your shit because clean your dishes doesn't uh, fit in the brownie. And Eva is like in the in the plot in the complot with her. Blah blah blah. And then Yaya is very. I wrote it down. 
someone had the audacity to mutilate her precious brownies. So problematic. But I am so on, on Yaya's side with this. No, yes and no. I would be annoyed by her if I would be in the house, but what she says is right because she's because Anne is because she confronts Anne about it. Like, why the fuck did you do this? Um, I wear my shirt respect, blah blah, respect to Portuguese. I would be like, okay, whatever, whatever. If I would be in the house, but Anne, you know, waves it away like, oh, I would expect you to be laughing about it, blah blah, that you would find it funny, and then Yaya is like. Yeah, if you would do it to Eva, she would find it funny because you're friends, but you don't interact with Cassie. You only make fun of her. So it's clearly not a nice move. So don't, you know, don't... Mutilate get, the brownies. Don't mutilate it and don't do, be like, oh, it was just a joke. Get over it, Cassie. I was, I, was, I was on Yaya's side on it. I'm on everyone's side because there's multiple layers to this whole thing. Let's dissect it for a second. <laughs> Ladies and gents and everything in between. Get a lesson from Dennis. No. All right. But um, no, because the thing is, like... It's very funny that Cassie gets angry that Anne writes in her brownies because the reason why Anne did it was because she was like she was so fed up with all the dishes from Cassie and like Cassie not cleaning up her shit, whatever. Um, and that's a thing that's like it's a mutual thing. Not that I'm not saying mutual like that everyone agrees with it, but it's like leaving your dishes around. It's something that everyone will have a problem with or like it affects the whole group yeah. and um uh when uh Anne starts uh when Anne writes down in the brownies she just did it like to cassie in that way and then cassie all of a sudden gets like yeah but you cannot touch my brownies but you cannot touch my shit because then it becomes a personal attack for her whereas don't you realize that when you are leaving your dishes ev everywhere that other people are affected by that too and like when it gets you personally then it becomes a big thing so in that yeah. way, I'm like, I kind of get it. But then flip side that you could have also been Anne and just went to Cassie. Cassie, can you not leave your shit around everywhere? It annoys me instead of writing down in the brownies. Mm. But then again, I found it funny. It, it was OK. It was I think maybe if Anne would have done it to someone else, it wouldn't have been a big of a deal. I think it's also piled up with the whole eating disorder thing, blah, 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 blah. Maybe production was involved in it a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> because it was a very random time for the camera crew to be in the kitchen. <laughs> also, when Cassie was picking up a brownie again, it was like, what is going on in this yeah. house? In this weird, claustrophobic, claustrophobic small yeah. house. I still find it a creepy house. Same, I, same. I, I wouldn't be... Uh, if I would be on Top Model, I wouldn't be uh, want to be on this cycle. No. Too much drama, too much mean girls. Oh, I wouldn't mind opinion. being on this cycle. I think last cycle looked more fun to be in. I can't remember the last cycle. <laughs> With <laughs> April forgot. and Mercedes and stuff. Who's April? April. The, April? The, 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 she win? The, no. No. Joanna won. Oh, April season did. two. Season two. It looked more fun, but what? whatever. That was just a side note what I thought about. I don't know. No, but and so, and then, but the weird thing is like, and then, so okay, those were the two flip sides about like the brownie thing. But then Yaya with her with her respicito or whatever shirt, I'm like, <laughs> girl, this is like the same thing. What's happening? You're now reproducing what happened before. Like they are not saying that Cassie needs to clean her shit, and you're not saying that everyone's. You're like, I'm making a statement. Whereas talk about it maybe and yeah uh, they get too involved and i like i like more the people like kelly and orel who are just laughing on the side like <laughs> i didn't do it but i'm enjoying the drama and i'm like yeah i would do too <laughs> it's fun because it's also like get over it you guys <laughs> done and done yeah, and that's also the big thing because you could have also been like if cat if you were cast you could have also been like okay who did this okay no one did this well just to let you all know i didn't like it i couldn't care for it i'm sorry like i don't like that you went into my brownies and then just leave it yeah but or do something funny she, back she no even not that but like you probably get Get angry of it because you're like oh i should be cleaning my shit that's so true. there are so many layers to this she what well, maybe See? maybe em was right that's true top model yeah. is not a superficial show it has so many psychological <laughs> layers thank you tyra it's very thank educated yes. yes we learn from it we learn to clean our shit but then we get back to cassie um wanting to hear the things that she wants to hear otherwise it's not okay because we get to the boot camp Ooh, the bo with captain lee jack Captain, Captain, leave wait. Captain, leave wait. Hello, ladies. <laughs> a boot camp. A yeah. dude. <laughs> it's a dude. But the, but the funny thing is, like, 
Cassie, like, she, the reason, like, I don't know who said it, but someone said, like, yeah, the reason that we're doing this boot camp is to make sure that we go to our limits and to see, like, how can we deal when things get hard? Who's the first one to quit? Cassie. I don't want to be here right now. I don't want to do this. I don't want, because it's not going the way she wants it to go. Yeah. And also, if you. Not dealing with the problem that is in front of you. And if you think when the real challenge came, who had to be up quickest she was not the slowest one so it was also like because you, she, yeah, she then she can do it but she just doesn't want to do it if she would have been the slowest now it would have been like oh maybe you are really you know bad with your health or whatever blah blah but she was like the fourth or the fifth fastest so she was like the other girls who are slower maybe have a not as good of a stimu- stamina as you as yours but they do it. They yeah. commit it. I never heard but, Kelly or Takara you know complain. Is, she has in this moment. She just is is not very happy with herself because when she was doing the boot camp, you don't do that for anyone but yourself. And then she cannot do it. But when she needs to run up the stairs to make sure that she looks better than someone else, then all of a sudden she can do it. True. So what does it say about that, people? Cassie, what does it say about we're that? We're on to you. Well, it's 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 kind of sad in a way as well because like she doesn't care enough about herself to to push through a moment when things get hard for herself, but when she needs to prove for some for someone else, then she can run up a flight of th- stairs. So the strength is there, but yeah, she doesn't believe in that in herself, which is sad. Not the, like not, not the inner motivation. Yes, like the inner strength. That's also really funny that like she calls her boyfriend and be like, yeah, like come on, girl, get up for yourself. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, and the challenge um, for the rest oh, of the photo being... shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, oh God, the photo <laughs> shoot on the stairs. Those girls. Those wait, poor wait. Girls. Let's, let's play a game. Who am I? We have to do a photo shoot. <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> Eve had a deep man. <laughs> so over the top. Come on. You ran nine stairs. I never... I, I don't think anyone has to throw up after nine stairs. Well, I did do a boot camp before that. That's true. That's true. But and on still, top of that, they also have to walk home after the boot camp <laughs> because she didn't win. Poor Eva. <laughs> Together with the uh, tour guide, it Kelly. <laughs> it was hilarious. But um, uh, what was also with the stairway? I don't... Oh, yeah. Who said that? Who, oh, there was someone who was like, I think it was Anne. Like, oh, I know what you're going to say. Like, um, Kelly and who was last? Ke- yeah, there was someone. Norel, I think? Yeah. And then Anne was like, you just lost to a girl who weighs 50 more pounds than you. Yeah. <laughs> like, that could happen. And, like, I was going to say, like, does your weight decide what kind of stamina you have? Yeah, and maybe it was like two minutes and five seconds and the other one two minutes and two seconds because it was a very close buy it was not like that it was an hour faster than the others or something it was hilarious it's yeah. hilarious but Takara went through and she, well, she didn't win Yaya won but she took Takara on the prize because Yaya saw that Takara went for it which is a very nice you know thing to do and um, they won a facial <laughs> to quote Eva the person that needed the facial <laughs> got the facial <laughs> <laughs> Eva and her one-liners. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Love it. A, real, they, the a, real, a real housewife in the making. Oh, yes. Yeah. Maybe they saw it there already. Yeah. And the rest had to walk with tour guide Kelly. With tour guide Kelly? Yeah, because she's from New York. So she said, like, oh, we have to go there and there and there. But even if you don't come from New York, it's New York strange. is, like, no the reason. easiest place to not get love. Like, it's so easy in New York, right? It's very straightforward. It's like, one, two, three, four, five, blocks, 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 blocks. What? Blocks, 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 <laughs> blocks. <laughs> oh, blocks. blocks. Oh, blocks. Yes. Oh, blocks. Not a block with a G. Oh, block. <laughs> oh, block. Yes. You mean block? It's easy. Amsterdam is harder to go through. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You can drive around and get back into the same spot. It happens to certain <laughs> people. Guilty. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, God. That is nothing for you. I thought you were good with uh, Yeah, directions. I thought so, too. Well, yeah. in Amsterdam, no. Hmm. Well, right. then we get to the judging and we get to the best part. Oh, no, photo shoot. We have no, didn't have the photo shoot oh, yet. Crap, the truck yeah. lead. Oh, I thought the photo shoot. It wasn't boring, but there was a lot happening. But well, then again. But I do want to say something about the photo What shoot. do you want to say? Give me the finger right like now. Every episode, I am a little bit on... Um, on edge? On, 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 no, yeah, on edge about Ooh. how they treat Kelly. Ooh. And this episode, it's clear that they are just done with Kelly she asks, in my opinion, Kelly asks at the photo shoot a very fair question to Jay Manuel, the creative director of the photo shoot, who should be the creative director. Yeah. And she asks, hey, I'm not doing well with getting critiques like, hey, you're doing great. And then at judging, 
finally here that I don't do great. Can you just tell me what I have to do? Because I'm learning. I'm in this process. I'm not a model yet. Otherwise, I would have been booked. I want to learn. And then Jay is like, well, I'm not here to babysit you. And then Anne, very nice of her, says to the camera, that's not what Kelly was asking. She just asked for direction, which is a very fair question. That's your job, Jay. Like if you're a, te <laughs> if you're a teacher and a, and a kid asks you, can you teach me uh, how this works? One plus one. Um, I'm not going to teach you that. I'm like, that's your job. Just do it. I, I'm, 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 I, I, was on the, I, I was on Kelly's side with this. I she did it. bad at the shoot, but she she could have get some got some direction from him in my opinion again we're gonna go back to dennis double side no because i agree what what um kelly said like it's a very normal thing to say but she was like yeah can you not give me bad critiques when i'm doing uh can you not give me good critiques when i'm doing bad because what she actually was doing she was like pointing the finger at him like ah. you're not giving me the right directions and if someone would say that to me i would be like okay girl then do your own thing but if she would have said hey jay i feel like i'm having a hard time could you maybe really tell me when i'm doing bad like you're doing bad and when i'm doing good good and if i'm not doing good just keep saying i'm okay. doing bad so you think jay felt a little bit like he what? felt attacked he felt attacked yeah i feel very enough, attacked yeah. right now <laughs> but i'm like come on she's 19 years old and he's like 30 he's grow up he's like in the fashion industry he's gay they're very sensitive people i'm not saying it's okay <laughs> um because i totally agree with you she asked a very fair thing but like he was probably like okay you're telling me i'm doing my job wrong so i'm not gonna help you anymore true that's true. probably what yeah, happened maybe this was her downfall Th this was her downfall <laughs> because now we get to the judging i don't think her picture was the worst but let's get to that later Ooh. judging <laughs> no we have to one thing about the photo shoot miss dance oh yeah yeah <laughs> my god <laughs> oh, wait. it was so because it was also like kind of like yeah well you told me to do this and i did it but now it's not okay and i'm like that's what i'm like oh you just hit the nail on the head like so when someone tells you to do something you also have to keep thinking when someone says you jump out of a plane you don't do it you think like do i need to is the plane burning <laughs> you just don't <laughs> jump out of a plane if someone says so and also i don't think she gets like 10 shots i think you get like millions of shots so you can also be like oh they don't want me to be dancer you i'm going to do it both yeah so they Look can choose you being smart oh my god but well, then they can still choose your worst photo just to kick you out but she didn't give anything and then True. she's blaming on the judges i understand where she comes from but just do it both or talk to jay at the beginning like hey do i do enough or do you think yes. i should do more dancing because i'm scared of blah 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 she was scared because he gave that backfire to kelly so she was like i'm not going to talk to jay anymore yes. that was it and i think whatever if you don't ask they will say like oh you should have asked yeah. maybe she will <laughs> ask she should be like don't ask just do what you want yeah. it's always wrong what the contestants do True. but i think that you're very right like she she, she could have given it a little bit of a variation to like have it in there and then also try different things and then to see what the photographer yeah. likes. But her picture was okay-ish. I don't remember her picture. Yeah. It was not that bad, but also not that good. And but wait, can we also talk about one more thing? <laughs> what was Anne doing? <laughs> My God, Anne. <laughs> hey, the styling was very bad. Her hair. Oh, I loved it. The waffle hair? I love Anne's styling. Okay, maybe compared cool. to the others, it was not the best because all the styling was, in my opinion, very bad. Oh, no, I <laughs> love the whole styling. Of really? Yeah. I, have, I read down. Oh, I can't find it, but bed styling somewhere. Oh, no, I loved it. I oh, love the styling. I looked at, I looked at, what was it, Eva? Like, <laughs> what the fuck are you wearing with your wig? And no, I loved it. Love, love, uh, loved it. Really? How funny. Yeah. It was a little bit like punk, early 2000 yeah. punk. It was yeah. just like, I don't know, I loved it. I love the style. Like, I wouldn't wear it myself, but I love like, the look <laughs> of it. I don't think anyone would wear it themselves. <laughs> never say never. Not anymore. Never anymore. say never. <laughs> Can we now go to judging? No. <laughs> what In is four, three two one no <laughs> nine girls stand in front of me <laughs> <laughs> no can we, we talk about tyra's hair or at least we cannot talk about it. we both had to laugh very hard it, it started was, <laughs> and it was like what kind of wires are coming out of her head she like, like ursula from like the a little jelly, mermaids yeah, like a jellyfish but then the best part is like it's like that during judging and then when she hands out the photos it's different her, her they, hair is they different. Redid yeah, you're right. They redid it. It looked better during yes. the photos. They were like, girl, Tyra, yeah, we're not we going to change. reshoot everything, but we're going to do this. It was something. It was something, something. It was so... I don't think she does look good this season at all. I don't like the color of the hair on it. Like that reddish kind of hair. I don't... I like the color, really? but they no. do... The thing is, like, they try to make her forehead look bigger, which is fine because that's her thing. But it just... No, it just doesn't work for It now me. gets enormous. I like, I like it better when she has, like, the slick hair... 
uh, like next, just like down. Or yeah. if she has like what she has nowadays when she was um, presenting America's Got Talent, and she has like really big hair with like curls down, like a little bit Nicole Scherzinger, but then a little mm. bit bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a little bit weird. But yeah. she's still gorgeous. Come on. Everyone wants to do Black Tyra, right? True. True that. True that. Okay. Photos from the challenge. Are we going to talk about that? Because I'm like, how can you judge that? Who cares about those challenge photos on the roof? I think everyone looked not good, not bad. It was like, yeah, come on, who cares? No one has oh, to I, shoot like that. I think that Kelly's looked really bad. Really? Those okay. were really bad. Like, I totally agree. Like, you have a beautiful body, but now you're just like... Ugh. But at and least she tried something compared to other girls. Yeah, but is that the moment to try something when you're exhausted and like you no, need to have a true. good? Sometimes you just need to do the job. That's true. Amanda looks okay in the pictures I can remember. Yes, I liked Amanda, good. and I also liked uh, there was someone else where I was like, yes, Nicole. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, she won the challenge. Oh, but not because of the picture, no. only because she was the fastest. But I think Amanda was the best one with that. I one. think so yeah. too. She's but who were your girl. bottoms from? The photo shoot. The photo shoot. My bottoms. Um, my real. I had one. You one had fake real, bottoms. My, <laughs> I bottom. had one big bottom, and that was Anne. Anne's photo was <laughs> so bad, and Fly! I am a million percent sure <laughs> that that was not her worst photo. That that, that she had bad. That, that that was not her best photo. I think she had better. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah. Well, that was by far the worst, and then I think that Eva and Kelly were mm, not that great. I think. If they wouldn't have hated on Kelly's photo that much, then I maybe even hate Eva's uh, dislike, let's put it nicer, dislike Eva's picture more than Kelly's. Eva is not on our game yet. She's not on the top of the of her game well, yet. Well, they thought she was the top. Yeah, I was shocked. So, But they didn't talk about her photo very positively. So is it really like that? that no, they, they, were, they were like okay with her photo. Yeah. But um, no, I thought Kelly... Who were your bottoms? Ke Ke and Kelly and Cassie. Cassie was like with the hand, like, right? Like yeah, a little yeah bit. there was no hand. There was like your no. face. Was like, yeah, because hand. Nicole has the same, but then in a nice way. Well, no, it wasn't the same. Nicole was good. Like, Nicole was my top. Nicole is every week one of the best photos, but yeah. she never gets her first call out. No, because, because she is boring to yeah. the judges. She, well, not boring. Uh, yeah. she's, she's not for production. She's good enough. But her photos. No, yeah, so I, I always, when I think back of Cycle 3, I never really... Well, I always liked her, but now looking back at it, like, maybe... 15 years after I watched it last time, I never really realized how good she was. She's really good. Because every week when we put out our tops, I think she's, together with Yaya and Amanda, always in the top. Yeah. Well, I don't really like Yaya right now, but... No, this week not. But Amanda was for me also this week. Yeah, she was really Nicole good. was my favorite. Yours as well? Or what was your favorite photo? Amanda was my favorite and then Nicole. Amanda. Okay, and I also like Norel actually. For the first time, I liked a picture of her. Oh no, I did not like that yeah, at all. But maybe because I like her. Yeah. <laughs> but your favorite picture was Amanda. <laughs> I love that. That's always your comment. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. Oh, maybe I like it because I just like her. Yeah, I want her to do good. I want. How would you act in, as a judging? I don't like your picture, but I like you. Maybe I do like your picture. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be a good judge. <laughs> you would be hilarious. Yeah. You would just be like, oh, I don't like it. And someone else, I do like it. <laughs> I like you. Well, okay, let's put I it this like way. America's Next Model would have had 24 different winners, I think, because <laughs> I think in no season, well, maybe in one season, but almost no season, my favorite one. Really? Yeah, now, you judge on personality. Yes, but also, yeah, but I think in a few cycles, let's put it this way, there are cycles to come, which we will watch, where it's clear that the favorite will win, but there are not the best photography wise mm. but then maybe it's for production or they also want maybe some diversity in like ethnicity and blah blah so the, all those things all those factors you yeah. know are important and yeah. i'm like yeah Makes sense. i'm never happy with the winner almost Aww, oh i'm sorry for that that's why i made that show on youtube yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's i'm like oh now i can make my own winners win that's hilarious and norel won in one of my seasons <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but your favorite was amanda okay mine was nicole uh, but the first call out in the end, right? Eva. It was Amanda, right? Your favorite. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and Eva was the first call out. I didn't expect that, but okay. I didn't expect it either. Right. But then they did Amanda and then Nicole, so I was happy about that. But she doesn't say yet, because in later seasons, Tyra will be like, the first name I'm going to call is best picture of the week, and it will go to. But she doesn't say that yet. She only says first name I'm going to call. So maybe it's just the overall performance and the personality. They take everything into account more than the pictures here. I don't know. Could be, could be. Because... They also said to Amanda, you were the favorite of the day, blah, blah. 
So I think she would yeah, have had true. the best picture in their opinion true. or Nicole. True. That would but, make a lot of sense. But they were maybe like, oh, we want Eva to win, so let's push her forward. Yeah, or maybe they're just like, oh, it's not, it's, it, she doesn't, um, how do you say, uh, there's no tension that she might go like, oh, let's call her out first. Yeah. And the people like, yeah. Yeah, because I think that she is one of the favorites already, but she's not doing her best yet. No, we haven't got to the spider picture oh, yet. Oh, the spider picture, iconic. Mm. Iconic. Okay, bottom two. Very obvious, very clear. That would be Ed and Kelly. Well, I thought Cassie would have been there as well, especially because this whole episode was about Cassie. That's true. That's true. I actually and thought that like Cassie would be the one to leave this episode. And with who would she have been in the bottom two, in your opinion? Kelly or Anne? Mm -hmm. uh, Kelly. So Kelly and Cassie in the bottom two. Yeah. And then Cassie going home because of Actually, her. Actually, Kelly and Cassie, because both of them, their storyline is Ooh, over. A double elimination. I'm done with them. It's over. Yeah, but can I say something about this? Because no. Tyra is saying... I'm going to do this for the first time. I'm going to give you both the same critique. Yeah, you you were... You, oh, you were. <laughs> I missed that part. <laughs> you missed that part. You were to the toilet. <laughs> I already knew it was yeah. leaving, so... Yeah. Um, talking about that beauty doesn't translate into pictures, blah, blah, blah. And stays. Um, um, but I think that... Can, well, they both didn't deliver good pictures, yeah. the whole cycle. And Anne stays. But I don't know. I think... Kelly looks more invested in the competition than Anne because she's like, oh, thank you. Anne, Anne thank is you. better for production. That's true, but it's a real yeah, life show. That's true, but I was like, Kelly's oh. storyline was over. Also true, but she didn't deserve to leave compared to Anne's photo. Come on, that photo of Anne. Yeah. And she also was like, when she would got through, like, oh, thank you. I would be like, oh my God, am I through with this horrible the, photo? Yeah, but the thing is, is all, it's like with Anne, the Pictures are horrible, but you do see something. You're like, there's she, potential. And with Kelly, you're like, okay, well, no. That's true. And 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 did have one good photo, I think, with the with the long hair when they are like with the jeans, you know, when they're all in the yeah, group shot. And yeah. I think that Kelly doesn't have one no. good photo. So comparing that to each other, yeah. Did you know that Kelly became a songwriter <laughs> after America's Next Top Model? Oh, so nice. Because do you know what she said before she left? No. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. She wrote that song? <laughs> no. Oh. But, uh, but she says that one year later, Kelly Clarkson, and this is Kelly. This is also Kelly. Oh, my God. Maybe she inspired Kelly Clarkson. Well, maybe. Who knows? Because it's a true story. What doesn't kill you? No. <laughs> oh, th wait. Huh? No, but I heard her say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I'm like, oh, oh my is, God. This is a made up story you're doing. Yes. Now. But I, she said <laughs> that. And I thought like she should have been a songwriter. She should have been the songwriter for Kelly Clarkson. You know that this is like a very <laughs> phrase that people have been using for like over 100 years probably. Well, I heard it from Kelly. Well, I don't know what Kelly I heard it from <laughs> first, but one of the Kellys. Okay, and on <laughs> the that Ke note, the Kelly this, family. This, is the this is the worst thing ever. It's not even... Never mind. See you next time, no, everyone. can I say something? No. Yes. We have an official website now. Oh, yeah. Go promote people it. People should go there. <laughs> if, you, if you go to www popupmakeitfashion.com or just popupmakeitfashion.com there's a whole new website you can listen to all the episodes well you can also listen to them of course on your favorite you know podcast uh, app but also through the website you can sign in for a newsletter everything combined it's a super fantastic super fantastic uh, 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 website so go there popupmakeitfashion.com see you there bye and see you next time bye